The cello is considered to be one of the most unique and special musical instruments for several reasons. It has a rich and expressive sound, expressive range, it has an elegance, and besides, many people say that the sound of the cello is the closest to the human voice. But what is making the cello truly special? It's the player who is playing the instrument. So today we're going to discuss about the most influential cellists of all times. This video is going to need two episodes because there are way too many great players and hidden gems. So let's get started. I would like to start with Pablo Casals. Pablo Casals was a renowned Catalan cellist and conductor. He was probably one of the most influential musicians of the 20th century and the pioneer of the cello. He also was a humanist and a staunch fighter for freedom and democracy. And his legacy makes him one of the most widely recognized names in music and peace. Besides, if it wasn't Paulo Casals, we would have never discovered the famous Bach cello suites that became a holy bible for each cellist. <laughs> Next is Emanuel Feuermann. Emanuel Feuermann was an Austrian-American cellist who made significant contributions to classical music during the early 20th century. He is considered to be one of the greatest musicians of his time. And now it's time to introduce to you Mr. Grigory Pietigorsky. Grigory Pietigorsky was a Russian-born American cellist who left a lasting impact on the world of classical music. He was very renowned for his exceptional technical skills and expressive playing. Some even say that he was the greatest string player ever. And for me, he was the aristocrat of the cello because the way how he plays on the instrument is such an elegance. You will see this now in the following excerpt. Right, now let's travel to France and we will start with Pierre Fournier. Pierre Fournier was a brilliant French cellist known for his exceptional artistry. He is widely considered one of the 20th century's most distinguished cellists. Fournier's cello playing was characterized by its lyrical and expressive qualities. He had a warm and refined tone that made him highly regarded for interpretations of works by composers like Bach, Brahms and Debussy.
are going to move to my teacher's teachers, who was Maurice Gendron. Maurice Gendron was a French cellist. He was renowned for his lyrical and expressive playing. And besides, Gendron was a very respected teacher, passing on his knowledge and expertise to future generations of cellists, including me. to the Soviet Union, but before going to the Soviet Union, let's go first to the US, because the US also produced, you know, great musicians. And one of them is Leonard Rose. Leonard Rose was an acclaimed American cellist. He had a distinguished career as a cellist and was particularly known for his elegant and expressive playing style. And in addition to his performing career, Leonard Rose was a dedicated teacher, serving on the faculty of the Juilliard School and mentoring many young cellists who went on to have successful careers in music. Now it's time to travel to the Soviet Union and I want to start immediately with my hero of all times, which was Daniel Shafran. Daniel Shafran was a highly regarded Soviet cellist known for his remarkable geniosity talent and expressive playing style. He is often considered one of the most distinguished cellists of the 20th century. Shafran's cello performances were characterized by their deep emotional depth technical precision and rich tone. He was known for his interpretations of a wide range of classical and romantic composers, including Schubert, Shostakovich and Rachmaninoff. Now let's take a look into this excerpt here where Shafran plays Arpeggione Sonata. I think this is absolutely genius. If you agree with me, let me know in the comment section below. <laughs> Thank you. 
of course, let's not forget him because he was probably one of the most important, not cellist, but musician persons of the 20th century. Maestro Mizislav Rostropovich. I actually never could pronounce his name, even, you know, I have Russian origins, but Mstislav. Mstislav Rostropovich. There we go. Mstislav Rostropovich was a legendary Russian cellist and conductor who left an indelible mark on the world of classical music, and he was the most celebrated cellist of the 20th century. Rostopovich's cello playing was known for its incredible virtuosity, emotional depth, and passionate interpretations. He premiered numerous works by prominent composers, including Shostakovich, who dedicated two of his cello concertos to him. And beyond his virtuosic playing, Rostropovich was a committed advocate for human rights and used his music and celebrity to support causes such as artistic freedom and political dissidents. And because of that, because of his outspoken activism, this led to his exile from the Soviet Union for many years. I actually wanted to put Rostropovich playing the Prokofiev Sinfonia Concertante or one of the Shostakovich cello concertos now as an excerpt, but due to copyrights I couldn't, so that's why I used Don Quixote over here. But you can find the recording on YouTube without any problems. So you just put Rostropovich Shostakovich cello concerto and there you go. Yes, and finally we arrived to my other favorite cellist and he's living actually in my country, in Belgium. Misha Maisky. Misha Maisky, born in Latvia in 1948, he's widely regarded as one of the most prominent cellists of his generation. Maisky is known for his extraordinary technical skill and emotionally expressive playing style. And in addition to his performances, Misha Maisky is recognized for his advocacy of the cello and his dedication to nurturing young talent through teaching and masterclasses. And his contributions to the world of classical music continue to be celebrated by audiences and fellow musicians alike. <laughs> Wow, lots of cellists, right? But there is one last 
pioneer I want to include in today's video, and that is Heinrich Schiff. Heinrich Schiff was an Austrian cellist and conductor who made significant contributions to classical music during his lifetime. He was known for his exceptional skill and versatility as a cellist. And in addition to his performing career, Heinrich Schiff was an accomplished conductor and also served as a professor, sharing his knowledge and expertise with young cellists. His recordings and performances continue to be celebrated and he is remembered as a prominent figure in the world of classical music. <laughs> Well, and that's it because the list goes on and on. That's why I wanted to make, you know, a two episode video with the next generation of cellists. That's all for now. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share this video with your friends who doesn't know that what the cello is because many people think it's a big guitar or it's a big violin, but actually this instrument is really, really awesome. And with that said, please subscribe to my music channel for more videos like this one. Until next time and thanks for watching, bye.